we're a lender to U.S. middle market companies, and we have a few hundred companies in our portfolio. The index is measuring actual results for the first two months of each quarter. So April and May, actual growth in revenue, actual growth in EBITDA as a way to help predict what's going to happen with public company reporting. And in Q2, once again, we have very, very strong results, accelerating earnings. This is the third quarter in a row that the index is hitting all-time highs. In Q4 of 2017, it was the highest growth rate in the history of the index. Q1 of 18, highest in the index. And again, in Q2 of 18, highest growth rates in the history of the index. And then when you drill down a little further and you look into sectors or even individual stocks, if you're able to go that far, what does it tell you? Well, consumer discretionary and technology are, are two very strong areas and have been for a long time. This quarter, the industrial sector is also doing very, very well. In our universe, the industrial companies are typically selling within the United States, so it tends to be less tied to automotive or major equipment. But across the board, we're seeing uh, strength in capital expenditures, strength in consumer spending. Why do you see health care revenues going up much faster than health care profits? Well, it, it, it is a, a concern for the sector. Ironically, this profit growth in health care is about the best growth rate is, that it's been in the past couple of years. The health care sector has consistently had he headwinds from reimbursement, uh, reimbursement pressures and from wage costs going up faster than revenue growth. If we can move also to another thing that your data may be able to indicate, and that is the growth of GDP. We mentioned that when we were introducing you, and of course there's a lot of questions about what will happen to GDP as these tariffs begin to take hold and how that may cut into it. So what is your data telling you, and is any of this able to be factored in? All of the data we have is pre-tariffs, because it's coming from the first two months, and no, no material tariffs had, had been built in place. But, but the U.S. economy is heading into the uh, drag from the tariffs with very strong growth. Uh, CNBC Moody's had a survey that you announced last week uh, predicting GDP Q2 growth at about 3.8 percent, and that's right in the range of what our, our data shows. This, this is probably going to be the strongest quarter for GDP growth uh, in, in many years. I think that from the tariff point of view, one interesting uh, data point we can take out of our information is despite the headwinds of gasoline prices going up a lot. Gasoline prices are up almost 49 cents a gallon Q2 this year versus last year. Uh, revenue and profit for consumer discretionary companies are up. So we're seeing the impact of tax cuts, uh, job growth, wage growth, really providing a lot of support. And I think that the, the headwinds from the tariffs are, are not going to be enough to stop that, at least not in the short term. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.